Hello my convicts and convict catchers, so decided to help convict bring you guys and gals a video that I recorded over the couple of gameplays with the new settings I've been showing you in the settings video. I just kind of wanted to show you this as well and kind of show you what I've got up to using these new sensitivities and uh, yeah, all that good stuff. I will link it in the description below to that video, but here we go. So as you can see here, we're on the Picado boat. Map, I always forget what it's called, but uh, yeah, there you go. Got my first kill in. I'm using the AN and the MP7. MP7 is still extremely dominant. It's been the one of the SMGs that seem to be so strong for some weird reason. From close to even mid to even probably longer ranges, it's absolutely insane how good the MP7 is. Just following teammate in. You can see him getting shot, it's like okay he's got a shot from over here, took a couple of shots, I wasn't going to re-peek that, this guy's going to follow me but I've got a ghost on, uh, or dead silence, pops dead silence at that point so obviously I could take him out with some chance. You can see more people getting shot at here. Now I've still got the same gun attachments, I've got no recoil attachments in this, in this game itself, so none of the guns have the bullet velocity or the recoil control just purely gone for aim speed and obviously moving around and just showing you how easy it is to control recoil with this new setting so that was the plan also I'm kind of playing more to the way that the connection plays as well if you've noticed a lot of times if you just tend to run around uh, run around like a headless chicken like I do quite a lot then obviously you get your head cut off quite easily because you don't pay attention to what's going on and uh, so in these games I really wanted to try my best and not die at all in these games and see if it is even possible by just being a little bit more conservative rather than just crazy mad rushing around trying to slide cancel shoot people and stuff like that because my connection won't allow me to do that my connection has never been one for allowing me to run around gun ho because of obviously the um, differences between my connection to someone else I've had it where I've shot someone four maybe even seven times and still not even killed them and yet they've then shot me and insta killed me in what two or three bullets or less which is absolutely ridiculous or it's always a fun time when you're shooting a sniper and he has no flinch and he just then takes four shots aims at you and then kills you with just one shot which just absolutely blows my mind to why they actually added that kind of feature into modern warfare in the first place when obviously we had flinch now hopefully going ahead they will take more of a dive into what cold war has done which is actually removed flinch altogether so it's just now recoil control there's no actual physical flinch in the game which is really really good i'm hoping this is something that does carry over to such as world war 2 when it gets launched obviously later this year so just trying to figure out where people are at trying to move a bit slower not go too crazy trying to obviously look for teammates where teammates are where they're dying at sort of taking more of an idea of a like map knowledge approach because obviously these kind of maps I play quite often I usually know where people are coming from and uh, just got hurt there did back off so this is pre-recorded if you didn't know but I did do a couple of games where I was just focusing mainly on game and wanted to add voice to it afterwards so as you can see this guy camping in the back here is that okay I'm not gonna try and re-peek that teammates going up there though so I was like okay well teammates probably don't even not even aware this guy is even here hiding behind this area as you can see I'm looking at so I'm like come on just peek just look out wait for you so I decided to mantle or um, to what we call it post up I don't know what, what the method, what the um, the technical term is. So I, I noticed someone's died over here. So it's like, okay, someone's died here. And then notice that guy. Quickly saw him, and then well, well, I can get down here, and hopefully teammates will cover me and help me to get to the building, which I do eventually get there. 
So as you can see, the missiles come in as well, and the reason why I was moving, because they always aim for me with a goddamn missile. It's <laughs> very annoying to die to that. You're doing so well, and then all of a sudden, boom. Yeah, thanks. That was a good streak, that was, and uh, now I'm dead. So as you can see, I'm doing more of the snap on aiming on corners. There's a couple of times where I do walk and aim a little bit. But that's why I've kind of changed up the settings uh, a little bit through the times so I've play, play tested to obviously get that aim. Still the same as obviously what I did in the other video, but from before that, I actually had it where it was really, really difficult to actually physically walk and aim. It was literally, you had to snap and that was it. You, you couldn't literally walk like this. and through the settings I put in the previous video, which I'll link, like I said, in the description, obviously refine those so you could actually do a little bit of aiming at least. Or aim walking. So I got stunned and then grenaded. Is that okay? I'm gonna die. Luckily I've got a stim here. I've got quick fix as well. Definitely check out quick fix if you've never tried it. Just quick fix is really, really good. For the fact that if you full kill an enemy player, you instantly stim. And then when you press your stim button, obviously you can stim. The only time quick fix becomes a problem is if someone else kills that person with you, you take a lot of damage. You won't do the quick fix. You won't insta stim with quick fix because you've got to full kill the opponent and then you get the advantages of quick fix. So that's why I'm carrying both quick fix and stim because it helps me to obviously be able to do both. So if I full kill someone, I know I'm covered. If I get assisted in any kills, I know I'm covered. So now I was just trying to figure out where people are spawning at. It's so difficult because obviously Modern Warfare's idea of spawning is a bit different to obviously what they're doing at the moment in Cold War. Because Cold War has spawn points where you go to and you spawn at. With Modern Warfare, they did more of a battlefield kind of idea where you spawn in the vicinity of your teammates rather than actually a point on the map which is why sometimes you'll notice you'll get killed because you'll spawn too close to action and then you'll instantly die which is very annoying so i'm just trying to move around trying to sort of figure out where people are coming from because i don't have a clue at this point point. and normally if it goes extremely quiet it's because they've all gone into camping mode which is very annoying Just covering this area. I know a lot of people come up this ramp or they'll hide in this area here. Luckily, I just turned at the last moment to kill that guy, point blank, and obviously knew from there. Now, I crouch by accident. I've got a horrible habit. I don't know if you have this habit with a PlayStation controller. I don't know if it's because I'm slightly heavy, heavy handed on my sticks. I accidentally crouch a lot of the time by accident. It, it literally, I'm moving engaging and then he crouches for no reason sometimes it's even screwed me up because i've accidentally crouched and then started shooting at cover because i didn't mean to do it it's just something i, I you know accidentally happens it, i don't know if it's because of the sensitivity of the ps5 controller or whatnot but i just do it purely by accident i never mean to physically do it so if you ever see me crouching during fights it's mainly because or in the middle of like a fight, it's mainly because it's accidentally crouching for me and not because I'm actually asking it to crouch. My brain's always programmed to sort of like pre-crouch. Like that, there, I accidentally crouched there and that's why I was, this is the video I was saying obviously where I crouch behind cover and shoot the cover. I thought it was the other one, but it's this one. Because there is two gameplays in this video as well. Excuse if you can hear the background, I've got the window up and it is quite a warm sunny day today. And there we go, victory. So did you count how many times I died in that video? In this video, I didn't die at all. Not one single time. And we ended up 
with a 10 KD. There we go. Absolutely insane. 10 KD, not even died a single time. Anyway, this is the second one, so we're here in probably one of the worst maps in the world, Piccadilly, because this is where everybody just spawn traps, because the way they've designed the map is just absolutely horrendously bad. So this is kill confirmed as well, as you can see, and I ran out, I didn't realise there was a claim on the floor, and luckily I had EOD. I wasn't close enough. I don't think I've got No, I've not even got EOD. I've got near to EOD, or I've just about got EOD. So I probably should have died there. For the moment I've got Quick Fix, I've got Amped, and the other one I've got is... Um, I think it's to charge up my specialist thing. I can't remember. I forgot what my perks are. But I've now got EOD through the specialist. Obviously you can activate a specialist so instead of getting streaks like missiles and stuff you just get extra perks. I generally like to do this because I, I, I enjoy, I think I enjoy more having the ability to be a super soldier and have all the perks I want rather than just having to run a set couple and then trying to hope to get to streaks. Just double check in the middle of the bus, sometimes go into the middle of the bus there. He didn't, he went round, which is good. So you can see that my teammate's getting shot here. I was like, mm, do I really want to push that or should I just sort of try and go round? Decide to come in as he did die. Is that right? Okay, I need to cover. So I uh, took a bit of damage, I was like, no, I'm going to dip out. Gonna get out of the way. He did throw a bomb or tried to use a rocket, so I had to move quick. And again, getting shot at. So, oh god, I gotta get out of the way. Let me move out of the way. So just trying to go out. Trying to pick my fights as best as I can. I can't rely on teammates. I've tried so many times to rely on teammates in the past and yeah, it never works well. <laughs> so you can see that all these tags are over here so I was like well surely we've got more people hanging out over here. This is a place to be at. Like I've said before, Piccadilly is one of the worst maps to play on. Just purely because people just hide, or they'll head glitch, or they'll mount on stuff and just sit there and wait for you. Right, sorry about that, just quickly answering uh, Catherine. So here we are, we're back in it. Just do a bit of sliding, try and find people. Again, the point was to try and live obviously as long as possible shoot a load of bullets hoping to break through the window of the police car. Even tried to blow up the police car but it won't blow up for some weird reason, don't know why. But it didn't make the explode and it doesn't look like a wreck so I'm assuming that police car doesn't explode because even teammate there shot a rocket towards the buses and it still did blow up so I'm assuming that that thing doesn't blow up. I just saw this guy here just constantly shooting through the window and the door. Hoping to kill them, but uh, as you can see, it didn't work. The connection was really, really good in these games as well, uh, which is pretty interesting because normally, even there, or even that situation, sometimes I, I end up dying to invisible bullets. It's like I, I shoot them, I move away, and then I just drop dead. And it's because of obviously the delay of shots or the packet burst problem, obviously riddled in Modern Warfare. Also let me know in the comments below, which would you prefer? Do you prefer the Cold War engine or would you prefer the Modern Warfare engine? Because apparently they did a poll and a lot of people say they would prefer this engine over the Cold War engine uh, for the new Call of Duty which is obviously going to be World War 2. 
Now I kind of don't mind as long as they put the ADS time, sprint off, sprint out times back to what it's like in Cold War. And as long as we're not getting the packet burst issue, that's riddled this game. Especially in Warzone, because that's an absolute mess. And I absolutely hate the packet burst. So I'm just chilling out here. I've got my, uh, I think I've got my specialist. I've got my specialist now. Basically what a specialist is, is you'll continue to replenish all your tacticals and lethals. And obviously I've got my ability now to have restock UAV and EOD as my uh, my upgrades. Right, so, yep, pick my attacks, trying to deny the kills, keep them out, protecting teammates, just kind of chilling out here. Just uh, use all my specialist abilities that I can. As much as I love to run around, it's kind of annoying. I even had to pick up someone else's gun because I'd run out of bullets in my guns. So I ended up picking up his gun instead. I was like, okay, where's this guy? He's going to come through here. He's going to come through the left. Not a big fan of picking up other people's guns, but... There's not much you can do. I just saw him here, so I was gonna challenge him, but luckily teammate took him out, and I've got my uh, bouncing betties down there as well, which probably also killed him. Again, this is not my gun, this one, so uh, you never know what concoctions your teammates have, or, or the teammates or enemies have made up. So I didn't really feel confident enough to just physically run around with this gun not knowing obviously what's on it as you can see keep going back to the one I'm using which is the Ram 7 just throw out some more and uh, I was trying my best in this it wasn't the case of me trying to rush or be good it was more of the case of I was trying to play it safe and uh, even the Ram 7 actually that I picked up is not mine because thinking back now I had the AN still and I had the MP7 and had to throw both guns away due to no stock left or no ammo supply left in them. So these two guns are actually not mine. Kill this guy as well. Kind of a backfire. I've got the specialist bonus. This is why it comes into play to be really, really good. This guy's trying to shoot me. I'm like, oh god, let me stim. He jumped over. Luckily, he wasn't really looking. This guy tried to get me as well. And now. <laughs> More people come in, and unfortunately, I died to one person. It's like, no, I was so close to being double flawless. Had he not killed me there, I probably would have been double flawless, maybe. You never know. I was trying so much to play my life, but due to the obviously weapons I had, not much I could do. Like I said, picking up the random weapons that people just make up. Especially for multiplayer, you never know what they've got. So I see this guy getting shot from top red. So like, okay, well, I can't really uh, do too much. I'll try and cover his right side. Save that poor man there. We needed a little bit of assistance. Again, now it's just trying to figure out where people are at because everyone was playing really, really slow, and you generally tend to get this, especially on Piccadilly. The, uh, the more, the closer you get to the end, the more campier they get, especially if you're in front. So, okay, well, uh, someone's just died. I was like, well, that's teammates' tag. Just waited a brief second, just see if the enemy was going to go and actually run for the tag because normally people will. Yeah, a little bit too excited. Run straight to tags. And there we go. So unfortunately we didn't win, but well, hopefully enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, you know what it is. It is I the Cup Convicts and anyhow, as always, I salute you, my convicts and convicts, and I'll see you in the next video. And there we go. So we nearly got another flawless, only died one time. Thank you very much and bye for now.